I have so many. I feel like I'm hoarding them. Oh my god. Colin and Little Bit here and we are doing a fun video today. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys <laughs> my current stash of treats that I have um, for Little Bit here. Um, a little bit ashamed of how much I have but I'm gonna just kind of go through what I have for you and the stuff I know that she likes or doesn't really like or what we have a stockpile of currently um so i'm really excited about that we're going to be kind of going over specifically just like treats and then training treats um samples of treats that i have or samples of things that i use as treats um and also like our bones and shoes and stuff that she has um regretfully i have a lot <laughs> but we're just gonna kind of go through and break down everything that I have and yeah, there's a lot. So the first one that I have here is going to be um, these the Purina bacon strips um, and they are just the basic um, bacon and beef flavor so they are not the original. Um, she likes these but I don't give these to her very often just because they do have kind of a high fat content and they do have a lot of secondary ingredients um, but just to kind of show you um, this is what they look like so they're also really big but when I give them to her I normally break off pieces that are like that big to give to her as a treat but she likes these but like i said i don't give these to her super super often um they're just kind of an extra treat that i have as a backup treat in case i need it um the next one i have i actually currently have two bags of because they were on sale um both of them when i went to get them and i know that she really likes them um so they're these neutro mini bites and as you can see, I got this bag for 50% off, and then this bag I actually just went and got today was 25% off. Um, but it's also a smaller bag. This bag, I think, is half the size, just about, because this one's four and a half ounces, and then this bag is eight ounces. So, but she really, really likes these and really enjoys these. Um, she really likes the beef. Flavor. They make them in a couple other flavors, but the beef is the one that she really, really likes, um, which those tend to be her, more of her favorite flavors is going to be um, beef, lamb, and chicken. Um, she's not a huge fan of fish, salmon um, flavors, and she's not really a big fan of turkey either. Um, she will eat them, but they're not her favorite. She definitely prefers either beef or chicken over anything else. So these are the natural balanced limited ingredient training treats um, and I like that they come in this because when we're going somewhere where we're going to be taking um, pictures and stuff it really helps to be able to do this like that. <laughs> so it's nice to get her to look directly at the camera if I want to shake it over someone that's taking a picture or if I'm taking a picture and the good thing is they're really really small they're really just these little bone treats here and she really likes them i'll give you one oh, yeah. 
Um, this one, we don't really have a lot of these left at the moment, um, but there are these Cloud Star Grain Free Wagmore Treats. Um, and she really likes these. Um, the peanut butter and apple one isn't really her favorite. She's not really big on fruity flavored treats. She really likes more meaty flavored treats. Um, but these are just little cookies and they're very soft so they kind of break apart and crush really easily. So if you're concerned about like making a mess or anything, I would not suggest these treats because I'll give this to her after I show you. But it's like this. You can literally just barely touch it and it just falls into pieces. So it's really, they're limited ingredient and they're really good, but they just are not great if you're trying to keep clean. Um, so the next one I have, I have a couple of these little sample bags that were given to me by a local shop, a local pet shop that we have that's privately owned here in Florida. And they pretty much gave me these um, at an event that they were at. They were kind of handing out samples to people and um, they gave me these to try, but I really don't, I'm not interested in giving her food that's different from what she's on because she's really happy and comfortable on the food that she's currently on. So I don't really want to switch anything. Um, but this one, it's just a couple little samples. So I have this open farm um, beef kibble sample. And I haven't tried these yet, so I don't know if she likes them. And then for these, it's Stella's and Chewy's um, raw coated kibble. So they're actually coated with a raw mixture. Um, but this is the beef one. I know she's had the chicken and the lamb. She has not had the beef one though, but I think she really will like these. Um, so those are just kind of some things that I'll throw in if we're going to Disney or Universal or somewhere really busy where I will want to really work on training. I'll open both of those bags and just dump a couple pieces into our treat bag, like our mixed treat bag, which is kind of what this is here. This is kind of our mix match mod podge of um, treats here. So you can see we got just some like basic kibble treats. Um, there's some little mini milk bones in there. Um, there's even some of the bigger um, soft and chewy milk bones in there. Um, so this is just kind of the, the bag that I'll pull things out of if we're going out on a really big outing. I'll just dump these in a smaller bag and put them in my treat pouch. Um, just because at least then she has some different things that she's getting throughout the day and some different types of treats um, just so she's not getting the same thing over and over. Um, so next is, it's not actually, it's not another Mod Podge, but um, if you can see, it might be kind of hard to see, but there's a couple different types of treats in here. There's like the little bone shaped ones and then the little circular ones. Um, these are actually my Petco treats that I get from Petco from like the little self-serve station. Um, so the little circular ones that are in here, these little guys here, um, they are carob treats and they're very low calorie and they work really well for training and they're kind of sweet so it's like a sweet treat for her. But she likes those, and then the little bone ones are little turkey bones that she likes to eat. So, she likes those. I have so many, I feel like I'm hoarding them. Oh my god. Okay, so the next one I have, um, so the last time I went to the one of the local stores, um, they had these Bill Jack treats, um, beef liver treats for 50% off, so I grabbed a bag of them. Um, and they're made with chicken liver, very limited ingredient again, but they work really well for training, so. Oh, I know, you know what that is. So they're just like this, they're little teeny tiny treats, and I really like because they can tear in half really easily and be used as two different treats. So I really like those. I'm a little bit really likes those. 
<laughs> um, so I got this a uh, couple weeks ago, and then today I went in um, and grabbed the really big bag of them, which has 450 treats in it. Um, I think this one has like, so this one's 10 ounces and this one is 16 ounces. So this one's a pound. Um, but they're the exact same treats. These actually are, I think, a little bit smaller because they are for small dogs, but that works for me because they're still big enough. You can tear them in half and use them as two different treats. Um, so then I have these little guys that I actually picked up from TJ Maxx. They're these little Nutrisource training treats, um, and they are chicken flavored. They are really, really great. She's not super fond of them, but they do, they're kind of hard, so they don't tear super easily. You can kind of tear them in half a little, but they don't always break evenly or break at all um, and they're rather big so I don't use these a whole lot mm -hmm. but and she like I said she's not the biggest fan of them and they are kind of chewy so when training they don't really break apart easy enough for her to just take really quick as a training treat these I got from Ollie's but they're little hold on the bags all that but they're little pepperoni jerky treat things. Um, they aren't the greatest. They're one of those that um, has a lot of fillers in them and a lot of, um, I don't want to say nasty stuff, but a lot of the, like, the stuff you can't pronounce kind of stuff. Um, but they kind of look like pepperoni is really what they look like, and they just kind of tear apart but again those are the kind that I don't really give to her super often so I have those we have our miniature milk bones here our big jar really just kind of use if during the day I feel like giving her a treat I'll just open it up and take one or two out and give them to her um, these aren't ones I'll put like I'll put them in the bag for training but I don't do a whole bunch of them I'll put just like a small half a handful in just to throw in as a special treat in there every once in a while um, I also have this braided bully stick that I actually got her for Christmas she's she ate a little bit of it Christmas Day but this one's actually lasting a really long time um, which I mean it's three completely full bully sticks braided together so it's gonna be pretty durable um, but she likes it it really helps clean her teeth and keep her teeth clean um, but we really like this one um, so these are Dentley's dog dog chews but they're odor free ones so these I actually got originally when we were getting ready to fly to Minnesota um, because I wanted her to be able to have something to chew on on the plane both there and back so I bought this pack of them um, and they don't smell so they wouldn't smell horrible on the plane ride and bother everyone else or the people we're sitting next to. So I really like these and another one I love Whimsy's Chews. So I have these large um, hedgehog teeth cleaning chews for her and I absolutely love these because they clean her teeth even better than like just the round or flat Whimsy's Chews do. Um, I give these to her like once a month and it really helps keep her teeth clean between when I brush it every two weeks. So she really, really likes these two. They are vegetarian, gluten-free, grain-free, and GMO-free. Um, so they really hardly have any type of fillers or anything in them. Um, and they're really great. They make like alligator shapes and um, both uh, bone shapes that look kind of like a toothbrush almost. Um, but she really, really likes those. Um, other one we have are these um, cow hooves. So the cow hooves, um, I don't actually have these so that she can chew on them. Um, I have these, I actually stuff them with uh, a blend of peanut butter, yogurt, and blueberries. And I make sure it's all natural peanut butter. 
and I stuff it in here, freeze it. I actually have one in the freezer right now that I'm gonna give her tomorrow. But I stuff it in here, freeze it, and then she will lick it out and everything. And sometimes we'll chew on the edges a little, but it's mostly something just to keep her entertained and keep her occupied if we're home for a day. So she really likes those, but I have two of those here, and then I have one that's a little bit smaller than these um, currently in the freezer that has everything in it. Um, the very last one, I love these because they are... They don't have rawhide in them, they're fully digestible, which is great. Um, they're these earth animal no hides. Um, this one is the venison flavor. Um, she actually picked this out today. She has not had the venison flavor before, but I took her up to the um, I took her up to the little stand where they have like the beef, the salmon, the venison ones, and I let her pick which one she wanted, and she wanted the venison one. So I got it for her. Those are all of uh, my, my treats here. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed. Um, in the comments, if you all have any questions or anything about any of the treats I have, um, or any treats I suggest that maybe I didn't show today, or my opinion on certain treats, um, please feel free to let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Um, these are just what I use, and I know that works for me and my dog. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and maybe if you have a dog that's a little more picky and is particular about what they eat, um, some of these could maybe help you. But I just wanted to share this with you all because I thought it'd be a fun little video and you all can kind of laugh and giggle about the ridiculous amount of treats that I currently have in my possession. So, but yeah, thank you guys for coming and watching and you all have a great great rest of your week and we will see you next time bye oh, good girl get your treat